we're calling our Parish Wide Read. The Parish Wide Read is based on a format that's been used in many places called the Community Wide Read. It's often used by libraries or educational institutions when they want to bring a whole community together uh, to talk about, converse, and, and think on uh, topics of interest in that community. So we decided to do this with this particular topic. As I mentioned in the introductory letter, we're doing this in part because one of the uh, elements, the core elements that we discovered when we were doing our process work for our Vision 2020 was worship and music. That that's one of the key areas that we believe that identifies who we are as St. Luke's Episcopal Church, as our parish community. So that's one reason. The other reason was at one of the previous Super Coffee Hours, actually the one uh, involved in uh, the Back to Church Sunday, uh, we talked about the different areas that we'd like to learn more about in terms of educational and formation opportunities. And there were several that kind of come together. One was worship, the other was the prayer book, the other was liturgy, and one was spirituality. Now, interestingly enough, those four things come together in thinking about who we are as a worshiping community and how we worship. What is our identity? Uh, and that's a little bit what we're gonna talk about this morning. And more importantly, how it has an impact on our life as we seek to become deeper disciples of Jesus Christ. So as we do that, we're hoping that this Eastertide Parish Wide Read discussion group study that will come together at the end of Eastertide on the Wednesday you know, after Ascension Thursday. So you gotta put that in your brainiac calendar. Uh, Wednesday after Ascension Thursday, we're gonna come back and have a potluck supper. We do those really well too. Uh, we're gonna have a potluck supper in this room to do this very thing and it's gonna be in the format of a rector's forum. And what we're going to do is sort of surface a lot of the, what happened during the discussions and the study that we did, the readings that we did during uh, this Easter time. The book that we selected is Opening the Prayer Book by Jeffrey Lee. Just to let you know, Jeffrey Lee is now the Bishop of Chicago. When he wrote this book, he was not a bishop. He was a parish priest like yours truly, uh, and he was really very involved in a number of different elements in the Episcopal Church on the national scene, particularly with his strong support of the vocational diaconate. Now that was last Sunday at our super coffee hour here at St. Luke's. The recording uh, unfortunately stopped right uh, where uh, you saw it stop there. So I thought I'd just spend a moment with you today and talk a little bit more about our parish wide read. Opening the prayer book is an important study for us as a parish, uh, in part because it is most important for us as Anglicans and as Episcopalians to understand how the prayer book forms a central part of our life. So the entire parish, we hope, is going to look at the prayer book in a different light. Very often, we use the prayer book only for Sunday worship, and in most parishes, that's only the Holy Eucharist. Down in All Saints Church in Rehoboth Beach, where I sometimes uh, attend, uh, there was a, a wonderful priest, his name was Canon Simon Mean, and several years ago, he gave a special workshop that was entitled, Everything But the Gray Pages. And the study was about the prayer book, but everything that was in it except the text on the Holy Eucharist. There's just so much there. There's the catechism, there's morning and evening prayer, there are the pastoral offices, there are devotions for families, uh, the, the Psalter, so much that we as Episcopalians value, but often don't really look at very carefully. So during our parish-wide read, we hope to expose ourselves to more of the prayer book and to really indicate to ourselves what is really important. If you'd like to join us in this process, simply go to Amazon or to Barnes & Noble or any of the online books uh, sources and order Opening the Prayer Book by Jeffrey Lee. Once you do that and you receive the book, simply start reading. There is a study and discussion guide that's also available that you can download directly from our website, www.stlukeslebanon.org. I hope that you join us because this would be a great opportunity to know more about the Episcopal Church, about our worship, and about who we are.
God bless.